everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Xavier Wells, and if you're new here, please click that like and subscribe button down below for more weekly content. Today's video, we're going to be talking about why every electric bass player should learn upright bass in their career. Let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, so the first topic I wanted to talk about was uh, the versatility that the upright bass gives you. Um, just overall, the upright bass really lets you expand your horizons as a player, uh, especially getting into classical music and jazz music with the upright bass. Uh, it really expands your thinking as a bass player and how you think of how bass lines should go. I know that uh, bass is always thought of as a hormonal and a timekeeping device, um, you know, but classical music really kind of gets away from that and we kind of become more of um, not only just a timekeeping device, but we also have these really, really, really beautiful and melodic lines that we get to play that necessarily aren't always seen on the electric bass. Um, and the same thing goes for jazz. I think when you play an upright with jazz, it just gives that classic sound. I don't think, uh, you know, electric bass can always emulate, but, um, you know, the upright is an absolutely beautiful instrument. I think that it most certainly um, is great because it expands the horizons of your bass playing. So the second thing that I think is great about upright is getting to play with a bow. Uh, I know as bass players, we're very used to our habits of playing with our fingers or playing with a pick or slapping, but I think getting to learn how to play with a bow, kind of taking a step back and trying to learn a new technique is really great because it also makes us kind of think in a whole new way and maybe go back and try to change some of the habits that we picked up along the way that weren't so great. And I think the bow also is a great tool because it kind of helps us maybe get out of our comfort zone and make more melodic choices. Um, and I think the bow overall really just adds this beautiful richness and depth uh, to playing that we don't necessarily always get with playing finger style. And I'm going to play two examples here, one with the bow and one without, uh, just an A minor scale. And I want you to hear the difference and the depth that the bow really can make. Um, just for reference here, I am playing a French style bow. I do play German as well. I recently switched over to French, um, and I'm liking French quite a lot. So here's an A minor scale uh, with the bow, and then we'll do one without. So here is with the bow. We'll do one uh, staccato style just for uh, comparison there. <clears throat> So not that there is uh, anything wrong about playing with your fingers or playing a staccato style. I just think that playing with a bow really does give this sort of added richness and warmness that I think that every bass player should learn. Um, just because, again, because it creates that nice, rich, warm tone that I think that, uh, you know, kind of gets us out of our headset of playing, uh, you know, strictly just regular bass lines. All right, guys, so the third and last reason uh, I think everyone should play upright bass is just because it's freaking cool. Um, I remember when I first got this bass and I was so unbelievably happy and I spent learning all my jazz tunes for my high school jazz band up on this. Um, I literally spent all night because I had a gig the next day and I remember just taking this uh, and putting it in the big case and throwing it on my shoulders and it was one of the first gigs I got to do with my high school jazz band in an art museum and I remember just getting there and all my friends were like, oh, like we finally have someone who plays upright and I remember just like playing all those bebop tunes and just blues and jazz tunes, and they all sounded so absolutely amazing. Um, I have a pickup on this, and it, I mean, it sounds killer. It, you know, I, I could not be any happier with this thing. It, you know, it's been a real workhorse. It was my cousin's when he went to Berkeley, and uh, I got it when he graduated and got a new one. Um, but overall, I really think that, you know, upright bass is a tool that I think every bass player should have in their arsenal because not only does it expand uh, your reaches as a player and your abilities, it makes you some of the most versatile people to be able to play with because you can play from everything from jazz to country to uh, classical music. Alright guys, so that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I just wanted to give a quick thank you for everyone who's been checking out the channel lately. It means a lot to me and it's great to see that how much this channel has been growing and how many people have been checking out uh, the music that I've been putting up on here. I really hope to make more videos for you guys soon. Until then, I'll see you next time.